Today FM. Today, Today FM, FM rocks. rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, pastor guilty of rape. Three charged over bus driver's death. And curfew breach arrests continue. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. Three men who allegedly assaulted a Nosori bus driver resulting in his death 10 days ago appeared in the Suva High Court this morning. Mikaele Launiale, Chosateki Rokonda Kunibosa and Isikeli Lingambalavu were initially charged with act with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. However, police yesterday confirmed that the case is now classified as murder. The alleged incident occurred on the 3rd of October at the Nosori bus stand. Prosecutors informed the court that the three are already in remand at the Suva Corrections Center, but the police want to take them into custody for further investigation. The state has also sought 21 days to file information on the charge of the murder. The men were granted bail by the High Court only to be re-arrested by Nosori police outside the courtroom. The matter has been adjourned to 27th of October. 46-year-old pastor Waisake Tulavu has been found guilty by four counts of rape and one count of a, a sexual assault. Assessors in the High Court returned with a guilty opinion this morning. High Court Judge Justice Daniel Gander concurred with the assessors and found Tulavu guilty on the rape and sexual assault charges. Tulavu, who was a pastor at the Agape Healing Church Ministry, was convicted of raping three church members aged 22, 29 and 32 in Masinu last year. The judge also ordered that the head of the Assemblies of God Church be present in court on Monday for the sentence hearing. The University of the South Pacific Council is expected to nominate a replacement for Deputy Pro-Chancellor Aloma Johansson as her term has ended. It is understood that many council members, student association and staff want former Auckland University Vice-Chancellor Pat Walsh to fill the position. Also on the agenda is the possible removal of Mahmood Khan as the Audit and Risk Committee Chair. If that comes to pass, Khan will remain on the USP Council as a member only. The fate of Pro-Chancellor Winston Thompson is also expected to be determined at today's meeting and the Special Counsel will discuss the Vice-Chancellor Professor Paul Alwalia's paper on the reorganization of USP. Minister for Education Rosie Akbar and Attorney General Ayaz Said Kayoum are also in attendance. Seven people were arrested for breaching curfew over the past two days. Between 11 p.m. Sunday and 4 a.m. Monday, one arrest was recorded in the Central Division involving a man in his late 20s found drunk in public. From 11 last night to 4 this morning, six more arrested were recorded. Arrests, pardon me. The Southern Division recorded four reports involving three juveniles and an adult, while the Eastern Division recorded two men who were dr found drunk in Nosori. A 16-year-old was arrested at the Wailea settlement, while a 17- and 14-year-old were arrested outside a service station in McCoy. The Fiji Navy continues to monitor yachts coming in via the Blue Lane Initiative. Maritime Commander Timothy Natuba says the Navy plans an active role in policing our waters and ensuring visit visiting vessels adhere to COVID-19 protocols. The Navy has a dedicated team at Port Denaral Marina helping the military and health officials in quarantining visitors. We've noticed that despite the COVID-19 restriction, though land movement has restricted, air travel has been restricted, uh, in the maritime space we can still see, uh, see vessels still moving. As we are aware of Fiji, the Blue uh, Lane Initiative, we still have yachts coming into Fiji. So from our side, we see that despite the restricted movement, we still have a responsibility in our maritime space. 
Overseas, hundreds of thousands of people are without electricity in the U.S. state of Louisiana days after Cyclone Delta struck. The storm is now bringing heavy rain to other states. And Boa faces challenge of keeping players. Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and a The Autumn Nations Cup next month is a chance for the Flying Fijians to prove their worth in top-level rugby. Going up against three Tier 1 teams in as many weeks, the side knows the results can open doors for players and for Fiji rugby. I have reminded the coaches and the players that this uh, opportunity is something that we've always been crying for. Opportunities and pathways uh, in terms of playing test matches. Uh, what we've done this time is we've sent a sort of a, a code of conduct, a code of conduct and values and the new culture going forward. And uh, only those uh, who will agree to abide. Just a good reflection of our building capacity now with our governance, building our competition locally, promoting more of our players through high performance. Um, and through the pathways that the Boer Football Association will try its best to hang on to their players from the ID courts IDC head coach Renil Ram says the challenge now for Boer football is maintaining their squad because they showcase some raw talents at the IDC Boer reached the final of the senior division before losing to Nandronga 3-0 however some players are expected to move in the next transfer window Financially, we are a very disadvantaged team. I know, <laughs> to be very honest, there are some players who have already been approached. We will try our best. Only thing we can say, our, play, our boys are at the moment playing for the district. They're playing on district pride. Basketball's most storied franchise is officially back on top. The LA Lakers clinched their equaling 17th title yesterday after thrashing the Miami Heat 106-93. It was also a historical moment for LeBron James. Expect cloudy periods this afternoon with some showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Elsewhere, it should be fine apart from isolated afternoon or evening showers and a chance of a thunderstorm. And that's FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. In times of crisis, you need news you can trust. Get the facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news at fbcnews.com.fj. Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Enjoy your lunch. Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and a